Hey everybody, Austin back again with another Let's Play video. In celebration of Capcom's announcement of the new DuckTales remake, um, I've been kind of itching to play the original 8-bit Nintendo version again. Now, it's actually been a really, really long time since I played this. Uh, probably at least five, six, seven, eight years, maybe more. It's been a while since I played this game. Now, this is a Capcom game I played the crap out of as a kid. I mean, I played many, many of those Capcom games from the NES back in the day, and I played them a lot, especially the licensed games, the Disney ones. And, um, yeah, I just thought it would be fun to kind of play through this game, or at least see how far I can get without having any practice of any sort. So what I'm gonna do is put it on easy. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, what I'm gonna do is actually play it on the normal difficulty. You know me, I never play it on easy. That's just stupid. Um... I'm gonna play it on the normal difficulty. Now there is difficult mode here, and if I recall correctly, it actually is kind of difficult. So what I'm gonna do is not play that right now because I don't want to throw this controller into my TV and get electrocuted and die while I'm recording this video because, you know, that would be just terrible. Uh, I'm sure you guys would just hate that. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and hit start and we're gonna play the normal mode. Now, this is by no means going to be a speed run. This is by no means going to be a perfect run. This is by no means um, me going to be exploiting the game to its fullest because, to be honest, uh, a lot of this is going to kind of come back to me as I'm playing it. I might find some of the secrets. I might not. Um, but we'll just kind of see how far I can get um, having not played the game in a very long time. So, we'll go ahead and start off with the Amazon. I know that's where I usually started off in the past, so let's go ahead and uh, kick things off with that. And if I recall correctly, you hold B and just hold down, and you always have to hold B, yeah. Otherwise, you will... Uh, you'll get hurt by the enemies, which is bad. You cannot hop on enemies like normal. You have to hit them with your pogo stick in this game. Oh, look, infinitely respawning enemies, uh, okay. That sounds about right for an 8-bit Nintendo game. I'm not complaining. Uh, one of the cool things, though, is you can let go and kind of control... Yeah, I still remember that. Okay, whoa. Like so, so you can kind of control your jump. Which is really cool, really kind of essential, I think, in some parts. Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> but yeah, you can uh, basically open these chests to get things like um, money icons, little diamonds and whatnot. Uh, they basically add to your money. Uh, money is actually a big part of this game, if I recall correctly. And I think it's, it's a big part of you getting... Uh, the good ending, or something like that. I don't remember 100%, but... There's an invulnerability power-up. And you can actually... Go up here. It's more money. More money. More money. And you do have to be careful. If you use your pogo stick too close to the edge, you'll notice I'm not actually pogoing up. Which actually makes kind of sense. It uh, makes kind of sense. <laughs> it kind of makes sense because look at that. Your pogo stick's actually not hitting the ground. So I guess that does make sense. And I never really noticed that as a kid. I was just always like, God damn it, why isn't my pogo stick working? But in reality, it's not touching the ground. It's touching it there, but not right there. Ah, attention to detail in an 8-bit Nintendo game. That's pretty awesome. Uh, one other thing you can do in this game is actually attack like that with blocks. Some blocks will actually just fly across the screen and mow through whatever enemies are there. Others are heavier and they just kind of pop up like that, which is kind of cool. So what I'm going to do is we're going to come down here. And this one, you can just smack it all the way over. And this game's awesome. I haven't played this in a long time. <laughs> this is definitely not one of those games I go back to on a yearly basis, even though I probably should. It's not like a Ninja Gaiden for me. Um, although it's just as probably good as a Ninja Gaiden, you know? It's DuckTales is as well regarded as it is for a reason. I mean, it's it's a really, really fun game, and it's, it's just got great qualities uh, through and through. 
Although you do have to be careful. There are definitely some instant death scenarios. Uh, so you definitely have to be careful. Oh, extra life. I will definitely take that. <laughs> Trying to bait him. But yeah, tons of secret money too. And uh, secrets are definitely a big part of this game. Big, big part of this game, actually. Um... Some money stashes you can't find, I don't think, in, unless you find uh, some secrets, which is really cool, actually. Um, and of course, as you can see, sometimes, oops, killing enemies will, will give you money as well. I mean, all you have to do is just run up against certain walls, like you saw there, hidden money. So this is one of those games you really want to try to uh, clear as much screen space as you can. Oops. And this part always <laughs> used to give me trouble back in the day. And it's just a, a place you just kind of want to take your time at. Because one hit by the bees, you'll fall down. And I'm pretty sure you die on this part. You don't just fall back down. Whoa! To wherever you were before. Didn't see that coming. I actually had my hand off the controller at that time. <laughs> so note to self, don't ever take your hands off the controller in this game, because it's bad. Whoa, that was close too. Man, this game's maybe a little more challenging than I remember it being. <laughs> Always love that. Uh, that's awesome. God, this game's so good. I can't wait till the remake comes out. You know, I've been kind of boycotting Capcom lately because, you know, over the last couple of years, they've done some really shady stuff. Um, from, you know, including downloadable content already on the disc, meaning you're basically paying for something that's already in your possession, uh, to probably the biggest one for me, uh, which is, um, some games being online only, like you, even single player games, you can't play them without an internet connection. And things like that have really been rubbing me the wrong way and I won't support a company that does that. But the new DuckTales remake looks so good that I'm just, I, I'm probably gonna give in to, to Capcom and buy it when it comes out. It looks pretty awesome. Do you wanna lift back to Duckburg, Mr. D? Yes, A. I'm assuming B is no. So we're gonna do B, because we definitely don't want to quit this level. <laughs> oh, crap. Ah, oh, I forgot about that. I hope- Oh, no, it comes back! Ah, shoot. Well, that's gonna be challenging. Let's go back down, and then go back up. Oh, I wonder if I kill him enough times, he'll give me some food. Let's see. Maybe not. Should probably finish the level because I'm uh, kind of running out of time. Alright, so let's try this again. Thousand. That was actually totally unnecessary because I could have just hopped off the enemy. <laughs> I paid three hundred thousand for that. Wow. Well, lots of extra lives. Although I could use some health right about now, and it's gonna fall. I'm probably gonna die here. Yeah. Always remember getting hit by that part. I don't know if I've ever done that without getting hit. No, I don't want to lift. I want to see if I can come over here. <laughs> Aha! Sneaky! Oh look, there was health. I could have definitely used that earlier. And I think that's as far as it goes. We'll just come back. No, I don't want to lift. Alright, 
Let's try this again. No. Oh, come on, where's the enemy? Ah, oh, yeah, there he is. Yeah, that's what I could have done the first time. <laughs> well, that's a way to get through it without getting hit. But that's not the fun way to do it. Alright, I think this is the boss. <laughs> oh, yeah. I love the boss music in this game. Get funky! <laughs> but that wasn't too hard. Wow, that was worth a ton of money. I'll take it. <laughs> Alright, off to Transylvania. This is actually one of the remade levels I saw in the, uh, the new remake game. And I have to admit, I, I think it's pretty cool what they did with it so far. There's something later on in the game where you have to go through those mirrors. An illusion wall, I guess it's- oh yeah, there's a wall you can walk through later on. If I remember correctly, there's a wall you can walk through. And you want to watch out not to attack these because ghosts come out and apparently you cannot pogo stick them. <laughs> Is this the wall? Yeah, that's the wall. Ah, builds my uh, overall HP. Sweet. All right, let's try this again. Uh, back here. Yeah, can't jump. I tried jumping while uh, my head was... Oh, I guess maybe you can only jump when it's falling. Huh, that was... Whoa! I jumped! I jumped, man! Duh. Whatever, I had five lives. Whoa, that was a glitch. <laughs> that was weird. Screen like just jerked over. Maybe you have to hold left and jump. Hmm. Oh. Anyway, I got it that time. We'll fall down here, see what's down here. Oh, sneaky. Did I ever come back over here? No, I don't think I did. Whoa, that sucked. Ah, 
Oh yeah, isn't this kind of essential to get like the hidden item or something or another? I don't remember. Again guys, it's been a really long time since I've uh, played this game, so some of this is just coming back to me. Some of it's second nature because it's, you know, the basic stage you always went through no matter how experienced you were with the game. But other parts like this, like, well, maybe not so much that, but uh, some parts, you know, are still taking a while to come back to me. I think some of the other stages are a little less maze-like, kind of like the Amazon stage, where it was pretty straightforward, pretty cut and dry. Uh, if I remember correctly, Transylvania was really, you know, very maze-like. What the hell, am I doing something wrong? I keep coming back here. Ugh. I must be... Maybe you're not supposed to go this way? <laughs> Some of you guys watching are like, Ah, dumbass, you're doing it wrong! And I'm like, well, yeah, I haven't played this in a long time. <laughs> Alright, so I mean, I came here, went through the, the teleportation mirror. Oh, I didn't go through a teleportation mirror thing. I fell down, that's what happened. Alright, so don't fall down there. Alright, let's try back down here one more time. I mean, this is the invisible wall, and this was just the health upgrade. I'm not supposed to go back to the beginning, am I? No, because there's a boss fight. You gotta, uh... Isn't this the one where you defeat What's-Her-Face? Turns into a bird or something weird like that? Hmm. <laughs> this is gonna turn into a much longer Let's Play than it really, uh, should be. Yeah. No? Alright, now I'm getting a little frustrated. What the hell am I doing wrong? <laughs> I'm obviously missing something. Let's just try this again. No, that's where I came down, that long rope. Trying to dodge the ghosts. <laughs> oh, come on, man. What am I doing wrong? Besides from going the wrong way, let's go back this way. Whoa, hey, I'll take that. 
<laughs> I'm running out of time now. I still got a little bit, but it's, it's gonna get to the point where I'm literally gonna be all out of time. You know, I kind of remember getting lost at this place, uh... When I was a kid. But I remember getting... Oh, you gotta be kidding me! Oh, come on! There is another hidden wall, stupid me. I should have tried that, because, you know, it's a big, gaping wall. <laughs> they already gave me the hint that this place has hidden walls, and I already went through one. Should have gone through that one. Well, that was my problem all along. Yeah, this is where the boss is. I remember this. Get funky. Get funky. <laughs> I love Nintendo music. Ah, oh, come on. Stupid duck with high heels. Damn it. All right, let's do this again. <laughs> nope, doesn't work. <laughs> the ghosts will not die. So don't try to kill them. Alright, making progress now guys, sorry for that, that was like 20 minutes of me just running around being a lost idiot. <laughs> On to level 3, and I think what happens is once you complete the game you have to go back, I'm sorry, not the game, but once you complete the first five stages you gotta go back to I know you gotta revisit Transylvania, I'm not sure about the other stages though, so we'll just play them in order. The African Mines is next. If I recall correctly, this was one with like a lot of uh, mine carts, instant death scenarios, all that good stuff. Oh no. Oh come on, not back here. Uh. Yeah, this is the one where you can just go all over the place. Yeah, that's right. Pfft. So I could... Go through that mirror at one instance, but not another. That, that made a lot of sense, but okay, whatever. As long as I got it already, I, I really did not want to be revisiting that stage already. <laughs>
Extra life. I wonder if this is where one of the hidden items is, or hidden treasures is. Oh. Oh, the chest disappeared! Oh, come on, don't do that. That's not cool. Not cool at all, man. <sighs> I'm gonna try to find the hidden one first, because I know there's one here. Let's see if they came back. Nope. Ah, lame. whole crew's in here. Whoa, what? I jumped, man. What the hell? Should have had my pogo stick out. Man, there was supposed to be a, a secret. I think I completely missed it. There was uh, like a special treasure I had to get. And I completely messed it up. Pretty sure I was supposed to get it anyway. Maybe that's what uh, those treasures are for, that treasure boxes were for that just kind of disappeared on me. Yeah, this is the boss. Ah. That's depressing. Oh well, maybe I'll revisit the stage, maybe I won't. To so definitely remember a very long stretch uh, where you just have to keep bouncing on those guys that kept coming out of the out of the water to basically get over a long just stretch of water and then to find like a special treasure. Oh, you can't revisit it. Oh, well, that's it. Maybe you can later. I don't, I don't remember. All right, Himalayas. Whatever. Let's just get on with this. <laughs> All right, this level you definitely don't want to do that. <laughs> Otherwise, you get stuck. Although you can jump right back out. As long as you're quick about it, I guess it doesn't matter that much. Remember, I used to get stuck as a kid, be like, Oh, what am I supposed to do? All you do is... Press jump, that's it. Close. 
Hockey mask ducks, I'm, uh, I'm assuming. That drop cake, conveniently. I'll take free cake. Good old classic platformer techniques put to good use. <laughs> <laughs> Some things I still remember. Or at least have just a really good, you know, intuition about from probably just having played it so much as a kid. I mean, again, this is a game I played a lot as a kid. I mean, I played a lot of DuckTales. I mean, it was just a really fun game. Whoa, it doesn't... you don't move with it! That's not like Mega Man. <laughs> Looks like Mega Man, but it's not like it. Okay. Note to self, always move along the platform. This time I'm going to, uh... Go across the whole thing. Get to the very end of this top stretch. Get my money! <laughs> Got an extra life. A nice freebie. No. So we're gonna try to go back this way. I wanna get whatever was up there. Try not to die this time. Like so. Oh, never mind. I think we're at the boss. Damn it. Derp, 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 derp. Ding, 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 I guess I beat that level, and I completely missed the whole area where uh, launch pad was. I assumed where launch pad was was like the way to the boss, and so I, I wanted to go back, and I guess going back was the actual way to the boss. Unless there's two ways you can get to the boss, but I want to try to like uh, explore all the areas before I just start, you know, exiting these stages. Because again, you can't, you know, as you can see. You can't really go back. And I was pretty sure there was like a bunch of hidden treasures you can get that were kind of essential to getting a certain kind of ending, but... Remember, like I said at the beginning of this video, this isn't gonna be like a... perfectionist run or anything like that. I mean, I like to try to perform as best as I can while I play these games for you guys, and... Just for my own self-enjoyment, I mean, I like... playing games well. That's just kind of... what I like to do. I get a... certain kind of satisfaction from performing decently at a, you know, especially an old difficult game. Um, so, I like to try to get everything I can, if I can.
And one, one thing I tend to do when I play old school games, or not even old school games, just pretty much any game that has sort of maze-like structures where you can go multiple ways. I try to like clear a whole floor first, kind of like you, you just saw me do right there. I went left, or I'm sorry, I went right, and then I went left. Uh, cleared the whole area, and now I'm going up. This is my only way up, so I'll just go up. So I'm gonna go right, and what I'll do is I'll go left again, try to clear as much as I can. Check to see if there's anything else. I think this is the... You have to get something in there. There's a key inside the UFO. We can't go on in without it. Because the boss is the rat in this game, or on this level. That I definitely know for sure. And he's down on the moon itself. On this part, you gotta be real precise with your pogos. Pogo sticking, otherwise it won't work right. Yeah, it's a hidden treasure. Okay, so there's a hidden treasure. That's what I was trying to find on the other stages. I was trying to find that, and I didn't get it, and now I might be screwed out of it because I completed the levels, now I can't go back to them. Um, we'll fall down and go... which way are we going? Okay, yeah, back up this way. Let's go all the way over this way. Don't want to go down there because I think it drops you back down to the moon part, and I don't want to do that. So we'll just go here. And then go back over here. Kill that guy. Kill that guy. And that guy. And that one too. And go back up here. And my commentary is probably getting pretty annoying. And we'll hop on these, and we'll go this way, and I'll shut up now. <laughs> I don't really know what to say, guys. I mean, um, yeah. Ah, screw you. <laughs> I really don't know what to say. Just kind of playing DuckTales. Duck, oh. This game definitely brings back memories, though. Lots of different memories, I mean... Um... It was a game I played a lot as a kid, but it was also one of the earliest, um... Video game video reviews I saw. I remember, uh, the Happy Video Game Nerd, when he first started doing videos. That's really when I first started watching, watching gaming-related YouTube videos. I just kinda... stumbled upon it, and, um... I think he was probably, like, the first video game-related channel I subscribed to on YouTube. Um... And it actually took me a couple years before I, uh... Started really, really watching gaming videos regularly. I mean, it was... I just watched his stuff as it came out. Uh, once... once a month, once every other month, whenever he would do a review. And, um... That's kind of like where the whole YouTube gaming thing started for me. Um, and I didn't really decide to start doing videos myself until I started watching videos much more regularly, much more frequently, and I discovered guys like, you know, Luke Morris, and of course uh, there was Steve Benway, and then, you know, John Gamester 81 his stuff was big. So, you know, stuff like that. But it really started with kind of like Sort of DuckTales and the Happy Video Game Nerd Review, which was, uh, yeah. Here I am now, doing my own Let's Play on the game. <laughs> and being redundant, because I already went here. Being extremely redundant. So let's go back up to this door. Was it here? Yeah. <laughs> Bless me bagpipes, and now Gizmo Duck can blast that wall. Alright, so we're going back down. I 
Yeah, it's a good thing I had that pogo stick out. Because I definitely would have died. Not that it matters too much, I got three lives. I'm not dying too frequently, that's for sure. Whoa! <laughs> right as I said that, I'm like, I'm, I'm not dying too frequently, death. <laughs> and not just death by an enemy, but like instant death from a hole. That's always great. <laughs> Oh, thanks. <laughs> Alright, so let's try not to do that again. Yeah. <laughs> Should have known better than that, but hey, whatever. Whoa, that was close. How did these guys get down here? <laughs> All right, big ass rat. Well, that wasn't too hard. Alright, I think this was the last one. Now I think we start revisiting levels. Damn. If that's all I had to do to become a millionaire, I would do that in a second. <laughs> Go up on the moon, bounce all over some space aliens that happen to be up on the moon, and... <laughs> all lands clear. Probably should have said all lands. Plural, clear, but hey, this was the good old days of bad English and bad translations. Ha ha, if you want to get the if you want to get back the treasures, come to Dracula Duck Manor. Yay. Let me leave, please. I'm missing secret treasures. I want to get them again. <laughs> No, I seriously don't remember where I'm supposed to go now. <laughs> oh man, this is gonna be fun. I promise you guys, it won't take nearly as long as last time, though. No. Crossing my fingers, anyway. I'm gonna go if you double check everything first. Yeah, maybe I'm just supposed to go back here. Huh. I guess so. Yep. Maybe I'm supposed to bounce on that guy and then bounce on his head. Yep, just like that. And then after this, I race up to get my treasures. Something like that. And I think that's the end of the game. But the ultimate goal was to get all the treasures and then get here. And I think you get a slightly different ending or something like that. That was kind of a joke, but okay. All right, I think that's it, guys. But yeah, I'm pretty sure you're supposed to get all the hidden treasures and then 
you get a different ending or something. Daring explorer Scrooge McDuck has found the five legendary treasures, making him the richest duck in the world. I don't remember finding all the five treasures. What the hell? We're glad you found the treasures, but don't forget we helped too. There, I don't remember getting the treasure in the Amazon though. Not the Amazon, the um, Africa or whatever it was. The mines. I don't, <laughs> I don't even remember the name right now. <sighs> All right. Well, that's. DuckTales, guys, it's, uh, I, I beat it, <laughs> without continuing. Actually, you might not even get continues in this game. I think you might have to do the whole thing in one straight go, but I mean, if you know what you're doing, you can beat this game really, really fast. Uh, not too long, maybe 20, 30 minutes. Uh, but I was kind of wondering around aimlessly sometimes, trying to figure the, th figure the game out as I was going. Uh, re-remember things that I forgot, and... So, yeah. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this Let's Play video. I know it probably wasn't as entertaining as others. I didn't talk as much because I was just kind of focused on the game. But, yeah, I'm glad I finished the game. I wasn't expecting to do that. Um, but then again, I did play this game a lot as a kid. And a lot of it was actually much more familiar to me than I thought it would be. So, but hey, Capcom's got a remake coming out uh, in, in the next few months. I'm definitely looking forward to that. Uh, I'll probably buy that. And... Depending on how long it is, maybe I'll do a Let's Play on that, but if it's really, really story integrated and it's it's very, well, at least a few hours long, I probably won't do a Let's Play because no one wants to watch a several hour Let's Play. And I don't like chopping up Let's Plays. I like doing one big Let's Play in one video if I can. I, I think it makes it easier on everybody, so let's work on me. Uh, it's easier for you just to skip through the video if you, you know, if you want to bookmark it, but, uh, yeah. Anyway, guys, uh, again, I'm Austin, and I am out. I will catch you guys soon. So until next time, take care.